Greetings ladies and gentlemen, this is Dr. Derek Ong with video number 10 on the series of uh, quantitative analysis using SPSS and research. So um, this video is all about one sample t-test and uh, as I mentioned in the uh, videos before, a one sample t-test is for us to test whether our uh, sample mean is different from a postulated uh, population mean. So this means that we will be looking into uh, checking how different uh, or significantly different our sample mean is from the uh, value that we have postulated. So let's say, for example, we have a mean um, a data set on marks, student marks, and we also postulate that the national average of these marks is uh, 70. So, do bear in mind that whenever we do hypothesis testing, the question is not whether there is a difference, because there will always be a difference. Whether it is small or big, there, there is always a difference. The main thing in hypothesis testing is to test whether or not this difference is significant. And that's why we call uh, significantly different. All right? So, that's the fundamental thing about doing hypothesis testing. So let's do the one sample t-test. So we've got our marks data. We go to analyze, descriptive, uh, sorry, uh, compare means. We go to the one sample t-test. Uh, we push the marks into the test variable. So remember, once we pushed in, we need to set in our test value. So our test value just now was 70. So we are claiming that uh, our test marks are significantly different from the uh, national average, which is 70. So press OK. Our results come out in the one sample t-test. This basically tells us the mean and the standard deviation. And we're checking this mean against the test value of 70. And we notice that the t-statistics is negative 2.907 which is lower uh, than the 70. So this means that our mean is 2.907 standard deviations below the mean. And if you look at the significant uh, two-tailed test here, which is 0 0.006, which means we can say that we can reject the null hypothesis that our mean value is equal to 70. So no, our mean value is not equal to 70. So we can reject our null hypothesis and say that our mean is definitely significantly different from 70. So thank you for watching. If you have any questions on one sample t-test, please um, send me an email. Thank you.